Okay, today is the 22nd. What you see here are a bunch of vultures on the roof of a church near my house. Uh, turkey vultures, uh, precisely. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's at least 13 up there. Uh, 14, I see the head of another one. There's probably some another one. Uh, interesting thing about turkey vultures, they eat things dead exclusively, unlike black vultures. And um, immature turkey vultures have black heads. The mature ones have red heads. And as you probably know, and there's some filming through the windshield, it's probably not a good thing. Ugh. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. Not a real good uh, omen to have a bunch of vultures on your uh, church. Just saying. Uh, am I superstitious? No. But I am slightly prophetic. So there's a part of me that says, okay, I got a bunch of vultures sitting on this church here doing their vultury type things. Eh, I don't know, man. I, I personally would avoid this church. Because to me, <laughs> it's a dead church. J just saying. Just saying. All right. Look at them sunning themselves. Isn't that cool? There's one up in the tree doing it too. I never saw turkey vultures as a kid. Um, I saw my first one in 1984 or 85. I remember it very exclusively. Now they're everywhere. And I see them everywhere. Uh, just, you know, they, they've come back like the other birds of prey um, due to the, that we've banned pretty much because we banned DDT. So I think that's one of the reasons. They nest in old buildings. I've seen them nesting in old corn cribs and abandoned buildings and silos. That's where they nest. Uh, they also will nest in quarries on the ledges and stuff of quarries. I've seen them do that too. So anyway, I, I hope that's uh, of interest. Yeah, look at them sunning themselves. And there are, vultures are immune to every kind of bacteria that would cause us to drop dead in a heartbeat. Just so you know that too. So, till next time.